Okay, this is the dish I bought uh, from SolarSizzler.com. Um, it is a very lightweight, very highly illuminized uh, satellite dish shaped solar parabolic cooker. Uh, basically what it is, this one happens to come apart and can fit into a box not much bigger than a large phone book. Uh, nine sections that all snap together in a ring and then the center hub that you lock in place to hold everything uh, uh, together. Um, if you look real close you can see there are some small holes that is for uh, carrying around so it makes it easier to move this thing around. Um, it's only about three feet in diameter and very lightweight because um, it's just aluminized uh, form of plastic. So about 3.3 .3 pounds from what I can figure. I have it standing right now on a tripod. I'll show you the back real quick here. They aluminized the back and the connectors and everything. The whole thing is completely uh, shiny on a tripod. But um, that again, that's it. About 3.3 .3 pounds. Um, I'm not sure of the reflectivity of that. Probably 95 to 98 percent mirror. Um, extremely, extremely shiny. Um, and uh, Okay, so in just a minute, I'll take this outside and show you how it cooks. Okay, uh, this part of the setup is the burner assembly that I designed. Uh, basically, what I did was I went to Home Depot and I bought two 36-inch steel stakes. They're about five bucks each. That was ten dollars. Dollar for the two bolts that bolt them together. This thing does have little holes in it. Um, every couple inches so you can adjust the height exactly the way you want. This uh, combination uh, makes the entire assembly stand about four and a half feet tall. So it's about nine inches of the stake is in the ground and eight or nine inches is overlapped right there uh, for a total height of about four and a half feet. Works out good with the tripod that I have. Uh, this is a two-part assembly that's a eight inch flower pot ring. Um, that I just found at Ace Hardware, so I affixed it to the uh, the stakes, and just happened to have some of these old uh, metal uh, things that basically it's just from a gas stove. Goes around the burner to hold a pan above the flame, and I noticed by chance it fits right in there perfectly. So um, that worked out great. So that's basically it for the burner assembly. Okay, I brought the dish outside now, and uh, it's all set up under the burner. Um, it's been up there for about five minutes now. Uh, so again, uh, that is the stand I talked about. Um, let me get a shot of the focal point here if I can. The focal point's about three feet from the center of this dish. Let me see if we can get a good shot of that light under there. That again is about three feet away. Um, focal point's about oh, six inches uh, across, six inches in diameter or so. So um, really good. Uh, Good for that size pot there. Um, at the moment, I just have that about half full of water. Uh, with the glass lid on top, you can get, you can see it's getting ready to start boiling, or maybe you can't. Uh, but uh, it'll actually take about 15 to 20 minutes to get that to a good rolling boil. Probably today, like 20 minutes, I would say. But um, I was trying to figure out how many watts this dish might be comparable to. Best I can figure, probably similar to a. 750 watt or 800 watt like electric burner, the kind you plug in. Um, so pretty comparable to the uh, a stove burner. Um, let's see here. Be back when this boils. Okay, it's been just about 15 minutes. I came back out to check on the water and you should be able to see that in there. Um, it's totally at a rolling boil in 15 minutes, so I'm very happy about that. I'll take the lid off here and show you probably just steamed up the lens doing that. Anyway, I changed my mind. What I'm going to actually do is I'm going to boil some spaghetti. I don't want to wait for the potatoes. I have some uh, spaghetti I can probably cook in about seven minutes. So that's what I'm going to do here and I will be right back. Okay, the uh, spaghetti or more correctly vermicelli has been cooking for about seven, eight minutes. Um, I'm pretty much done. So I just wanted to give you a quick view of some of the pans I've bought and painted black here for various things um, that I've cooked already um, in the last couple of weeks. Um, this thing is still going at a good rolling boil and uh, again it's probably been about 10 minutes. I sort of lost track of time here with all this. 
Uh, just want to get, let you know uh, quickly, uh, grilled cheeses and sandwiches cook really well in these metal pans like this. Silver, but you just paint it black on the bottom. Uh, I've done bacon, grilled cheese, heated up soups in these pans. Soup only takes like four or five minutes on a hot sunny day to get boiling and about eight minutes to be completely done. Um, so that's really awesome. Uh, the cast iron works good, of course, for other things you need to heat more evenly and slowly. But um, yeah, I've done uh, eggs and pancakes and uh, uh, potatoes, vegetables, all kinds of things like that. So let's take one more look up here real quick. Okay, I better get that off of there before it boils over. Let's bring this inside. Let's take a look here real quick just to make sure this thing is done. Oh yeah, definitely, that's perfect. Okay, uh, just a quick uh, follow-up to what we were just doing. I uh, got a can of spaghetti sauce out, threw it on the uh, in that pan in there. If you look real close, you can see it's boiling already. And I swear to God, it hasn't been on there more than two minutes, probably about a minute and a half, and it's already boiling. That's unbelievable. So let me just rotate this a little bit. Um, I didn't even expect it to heat up in two minutes, but there it is. Um, I'll stir it a couple times. It'll probably total of four minutes, and uh, I'll show you the plated version. And there's dinner right there. Spaghetti, buttered bread, and I'm not sure what I'm going to have to drink, but there you go. By the way, that is a solar-powered double burner that I have through my solar power system. Okay, here's a quick video of the soup I'm doing. Uh, it's been on there about eight minutes. Uh, as you can see, hopefully through the lid, it's boiling pretty good. I've stirred it a couple times, and uh, that's all there is to it. I'll show you a couple other uh, dishes I'm cooking in just a minute. Okay, and here's the grilled cheese after about uh, six minutes. I just flipped it. So there you can see it right there. That's six minutes in the sun. Um, and I'll show you the finished product in a couple of minutes. Okay, and there is the finished product. Nine minutes approximately, eight and a half to nine minutes, and just using the power of this uh, solar cooker, grilled cheese totally done. I'll be back and show you some more in just a few minutes. And there they are. About 20 minutes there for uh, both of them. Okay, I'm going to be cooking some eggs right now for an egg and cheese sandwich. So I've got the butter melting up here, and in just a couple of minutes, uh, I will uh, have a short video of that. Okay, and there's a shot of the eggs after about two minutes. Um, they're just cooking away. Almost done in there. And I'll show you the finished product in just a minute. Okay, and those are the eggs after about five minutes. Uh, they look uh, totally done to me. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, plate it up and show you the finished sandwich here. Okay, and there it is. Egg sandwich done in about five minutes. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and caramelize some onions. So I started these about five minutes ago. And uh, it's boiling and sizzling away pretty good. And I'll give you an update in a few minutes. Okay, here's another shot of the onions. They are just about done. You can see them uh, caramelizing up pretty well. Uh, it's been about 15 minutes total. Uh, the sun did go behind a couple of clouds there, so lost a little bit of time. But um, not too bad. Okay, there they are. The red onions caramelized on the parabolic solar cooker in about 15 minutes. Okay, and finally, this is where I store the tripod and the solar cooker. Um, this is my hall, and I just hung it up on the wall there near the corner and uh, put the tripod right there. Um, pretty convenient, out of the way, no chance of the sun hitting it when I'm not using it. And I wanted to give you a shot of the box that it came in, so there it is. Um, I mentioned in the the notes there that it's a box not much bigger than a large phone book and that was it all nine sections in the center hub uh, fit in there and hope you enjoyed the video